We're very fortunate on Vancouver Island to have professionals working in a clinic environment that specialize in improving your heart function. And we're very fortunate to have a team of professionals, nurses, physicians in Victoria, in Nanaimo, and in Campbell River. And we collaborate. We improve your heart function by ensuring that we're giving you all the information that you need to know when to ask for help and to avoid some of the things that cause heart failure. We are about to uh, start a session um, on a patient uh, who is in uh, Port McNeil, which is about 200 miles um, away from us. Um, sometimes these patients do have uh, problems getting down because of the distance as well as adverse weather conditions. So this does make it a lot more convenient for them, um, saves them the hassle of traveling down such long distances and allows us to interact with them, assess their clinical condition as well as listen to their heart sounds in a private, confidential way. Um, we use the system where there's a camera, as well as um, these stethoscopes, which are connected via Bluetooth. Um, it's all over a secure network, allowing us to assess their heart sounds, their breathing sounds, as well as their vital signs, and give them information as well as counseling. Um, what she will do is she'll just apply the stethoscope to your chest, like we normally do when we examine you, and uh, then by just applying it to your chest, I can listen on my side over here. And increasing my volume on this side, I can hear exactly what um, the nurse can hear on that side. There are therapies such as a defibrillator that will be discussed later, or special pacemakers that are used in congestive heart failure. Those special devices are used after you've been on medications for enough time that we can see whether your heart has benefited from those medications alone. And if your heart function hasn't improved, there may be a need to consider a defibrillator or a special pacemaker. There are three types of devices. And we've talked about a pacemaker, and that's for slow pulses. There's an ICD for slow and fast chaotic pulses. Mm -hmm. And finally, there's, there's a, a technology that's come out for people with hearts that are not regular or synchronized. And it's called CRT, Cardio Resynchronization Therapy. <laughs> Let me explain. Um, this is your heart. Prime, pump, prime. Sometimes when the heart's been damaged, it doesn't do prime pump, it does pump prime. Mm -hmm. Or it might go left side, right side, left side, right side. And people with weak hearts don't need to lose synchronicity. They need to have the, 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 the heart pump in its regular fashion. And so we can add a third wire to these two wires, which brings around prime pump synchronicity. And guess what? The heart can strengthen. We decided to go on a cruise and uh, we naturally were concerned, uh, is this going to work out? And uh, uh, we were told to uh, consult with the catering staff and tell them what your diet needs are. And uh, I found that I was really at a great advantage in every way because first of all, you had to be checked uh, getting on and off the ship. Well, because I had a pacemaker, I was put aside and they treated me royally. And then <laughs> when I'd go into the dining room, the, the head chef would come rushing right over. Oh, we've got your menu planned today. And I would get my food first. <laughs> so and yours it, was probably better, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I felt really that extra spoiled. Care. <laughs> but uh, it, uh, it's amazing because wherever you go, as long as you let people know what your problems are, they can help you an awful lot. And I find the only thing is eating out, that uh, there's quite a bit of sodium in food mm. and you've got mm. to try and avoid that. Family physician is going to be very important, working with the heart function clinic to improve your symptoms of congestive heart failure. But there's other tools now available. The telehome monitoring tool is something that is used at your home to 
help you understand the importance of the daily weight and how that can help you self-manage. They don't have to come into a clinic to get further education. For the families, it's, it's a real security blanket. Also, it's a real time saver. Now they can just spend time with their loved ones and they don't have to be bringing them back. I was 49 years old when I had my first heart attack and it was in Burnaby, actually, and we lived in Coquitlam at the time. And um, I thought I had the flu. The machine's been a blessing because they, they wouldn't have to go out. And those who are taking care of them know exactly what's happening. It's connected with a home and community care nurse. So that if your blood pressure or your weight is out of range, we think that you might need a little help, the home and community nurse will be alerted. I've just found out, well, through the machine, of course, that um, I, I gain overnight. Like I can put four pounds on in one night and I didn't understand how come. So you have zones. They have zones you're in. You're in the green zone, the blue zone, green zone, yellow zone, and red zone. If you get to red zone, you're on your way to hospital. Yellow, you can have a few things in there. The green is a good zone to be in, and a blue, of course. And so you stand on the scale, and then you do your monitoring of, of oxygen and blood pressure, and your weight is what they're interested in. And then he asks you all sorts of questions after that. I was limited to the amount of water. Dr. Bailey um, said that I shouldn't be, I was drinking six to eight glasses of water a day. And I'm a diabetic, so I was thirsty all the time, so of course I'm drinking this out of style. Well, I didn't realize that's how I was retaining fluids. I didn't realize the salt that you don't know about when you take it in, it's, that holds water too. So uh, I got a hold of the nurses who do the monitoring and I said, well, how much am I allowed a day? First of all, I, I think being aware of, of knowing how much helped me because now I'm looking for the, the underneath part of it. You're not to go over 8%. And I'm looking on the packages and if they're below that, if it's two or nothing, even better yet, I can eat it. 